So this is going to be a reading for my Virgos. Thank you for joining me. We're going to go ahead and get straight into the messages meant to find you. Any important links that you may be looking for, if you are new, will be in the description. Virgos, what important messages are meant to find them? Okay, so first one we have, let me go ahead and zoom in. So we have rest and rejuvenate. So with this, this is very important. Some of you have been neglecting to get the proper sleep or just taking a break for your body. And for others of you, it's the opposite where you've been sleeping too much and kind of slacking and procrastinating a little bit. But with this energy, um, if you're either someone who's overworking or someone who hasn't been working enough, there's a need for you to look at how you can have a better balance. Okay. This card, all I'm really getting from it is that a lot of you need more of a, a better balance in your work life. So if you constantly find yourself having to take breaks or feeling as if you're needing to kind of disconnect from your job or the world, that may be a sign that you may be overworking yourself, possibly just needing to, like I said, find more of a better balance and looking at where you can also take care, better care of yourself when you're not working so hard. So that you don't feel as if you need to take weeks off or, or days off or you don't feel energetically able to do your best. Um, another message I'm getting here, if you're on a break from someone, like you guys are not in a relationship right now and you guys are kind of separated, still kind of having dealings with each other but separated. This is a message that you guys do need to take this opportunity to... Think about some things and, and process some things um, because while you guys may have been in that relationship, it may have been a hyper focus on all the wrong things. I, I want to even say the wrong things. The focus may have not been on yourself enough or making sense of certain things. And with this break that you guys may be on, this is going to give you an opportunity to now sort out your thoughts and sort out a game plan. We also have discontent and boredom. So another message here, some of you are exactly what this card says, discontent and bored with your situation. Right now, your spirit guides are definitely asking you to look at exactly what is causing this, con this discontentment. Is it because you know you could be further? Is it because you know you're not really following your calling in your career or you know, if this is your love life, is this discontentment due to the fact that you're not getting enough affection? All of these questions, again, need to be answered here. And for a lot of you, you already know why you're discontent. It's just some of you are taking a minute to get yourself up out of this discontentment or the fixation on the fact that you're not happy is what's keeping you stuck there. So for instance, this could be like knowing you're never going to get the outcome you want necessarily from someone specifically, but still trying, thinking that you could, you know, trick the, the circumstance to be another way. Hmm. We also have disruption. Okay. So there's something that's bottling up below the surface with some of you that you really do need to nip in the bud. Um, this is like pent up anger issues, like things that you want to say to someone. It, it's just pent up. So another message here, you guys do need to find a way to relieve a lot of this pent up feeling and pent up hurt whether this is having a conversation with the said person, if that's not possible, then finding some sort of way to get it out. What, what's best suited for you? I can't give everybody a universal um, like thing to do, but whatever works for you 
in terms of uncovering what's below the surface and, and letting it all out, that's what's going to be needed. We also have hope here. So Virgos, you guys are really needing to get back into the flow of your faith and trust in the divine and actually having more belief in the things that you don't necessarily see yet in your life. Um, so if you're having a lack of belief of you actually finding someone romantically who's going to match your energy or you finding a career that's going to be a best suit for you, there may be a need for you to, again, find your roots back into your, your spirituality, but also you guys really need to disconnect from the things that are unlike what you're looking for so that you don't feel as if it's so far ahead or far removed from you. Hopefully you guys get what I'm trying to say with that. And last card, we have accelerated motion. So this is good. This is about you guys needing to really focus on the things that are about to take off for you. So if you are experiencing any stagnancy or if you're experiencing any issues as of right now, I don't see this as being permanent energy. Uh, but what does need to happen is you guys do need to make sure you just have a game plan long term and that you're not looking at your situation now and continuing to feel some type of way about your situation in the now that you're not doing anything for the future. Now, let's pull some cards from here. What other messages do my Virgos need to hear? Okay, so we have it's up to you. There's something better and we have let go. So, hmm. So yeah, with this card, this is just letting you know that you guys have full control over your decisions moving forward. What you choose to entertain, what you choose to remove your energy from is all on you. So what you decide you want your future to look like, make sure you guys are fully aware of your, um, your ability to turn your situation around based off of what you decide to do. That's why we were looking at choices earlier. Then we have, there's something better. So this is another message that there's something better out there for you, whether that's in your career or finance area. Uh, you just need to be more hopeful in terms of reaching said thing or actually clearing out the void so that you can actually get closer to those said things. And we also have let go. So there's something that you guys are also holding on to that's causing you to also be unhappy in the process. Okay. This is where you guys need to ask yourself crucial questions on whether or not it's worth being discontent, but still being around. So this is what I see. I am done with this reading. If you did take something from it, feel free to thumbs it up and subscribe. Check out the description as well for any information you may be needing. And I will see you in the next one.